Hello. Welcome to Paper Flare with Mutter Bear. My name is Barb and I am Mutter Bear. You know, I'm the type of person who loves to do crafty things. For example, my little cow here. It's a paper mache cow, you know, and it's really easy to make. You know what? Let me get changed out of my pajamas and I'll meet you downstairs and I'll teach you how I made this cow, okay? So, did you use your imagination to figure out what Betsy here is made out of? No? Well, let me show you. So, Betsy is made out of a 4 liter milk jug. Okay, that's the body. Yes, the body. And the cup here is Betsy's nose. And the rest of her is tin foil. Well, yeah, tin foil. I tell you, I use a lot of tin foil here. So, we're going to start off making Betsy's head. And uh, I'm going to be tearing uh, tin foil, so it's going to be pretty no uh, a little bit noisy here. So here I go. So I'm going to be tearing lots of tin foil, by the way. Okay. Okay, so we've got the head part of Betsy right here. So we're going to put that in and tape that into place. Okay. All right, so we're going to get, I'm going to tear some more tin foil. Wrap that up. there you can see how the head is forming all right so that is the head of Betsy all right so now we're going to work on the body part here so we're going to use the flat part here I'm going to make some legs to put on, on Betsy so again more tin foil I'm going to move this out of the way just to show you how I'm going to make the legs So, we're going to make kind of a foot part here, so that's one leg. So we have to make four of these, okay? Okay, a little bit more to just uh, give it some strength. Told you we we're going to use a lot of tin foil. Okay. There we go. One more to go. thing is we want to really get this kind of really close together and tight to make the legs quite strong. Okay, so those are going to be her legs, okay? So we're going to put those off to the side for the time being. Betsy's going to go bye-bye because she, I need more room for Betsy. So I'm just going to put Betsy just over here. And we're 
we're going to take the body here and get going on the body. So what I want to do is, see, I have a little hole right here. So I want to fill that in. So all I'm going to do is take more tin foil and just shove it into there. Now I am going to tape on the legs. So we're going to tape the legs on and so Betsy is going to be able to stand. So in this place, I'm going to use duct tape because that's going to help it stick better. So we're going to put the first leg on. Nope, that's kind of went off. That's okay. And I'm going to tape that on. Like so. Because we need these legs to stand pretty sturdy. Reminds me of that show. I think it was called Red Green. He used to use a lot of duct tape and everything. So I kind of feel like Red Green right now with the duct tape. He could make absolutely anything with duct tape. So we're going to make a cow. So we'll get these legs on here. And usually I don't use duct tape, but for these legs, nothing's going to move these legs. Okay, so we'll get the back legs going here. I know a lot of people use duct tape because it holds like crazy. Someone I think said they made a, made a boat out of duct tape and it actually didn't sink right away. So, okay, we'll do that here, put that up and around, make sure he sticks there or she sticks. All right. So onto the other side, put the other leg on. So once we get the legs on, we can kind of shape them in what shape we want, how we want Betsy to stand. So we'll get this other one on here. There we go. Make sure the legs are going the right way. <laughs> there we go. That's sticking on there. So it's always good to use recycled products. God knows we have enough plastic in this world that we can recycle it somehow. That's, that's great. So if you can recycle something, go for it. All right, so we have one more leg to put on here and then we'll have to put the head on and then we'll be ready to move on to the next step here. So one more leg on, okay. And when we come back, we're going to have the head and everything in place. Right now, this is kind of looking like a four-legged turkey to put into the oven to roast, but we'll get it looking like a cow more, more so than anything. So there is the cow. It's kind of standing there now. So we're just going to adjust the legs. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the head of the cow on. I just have to make the neck and tape that into place, and we'll have the cow on. So more tin foil. Okay. I'm going to stick that into it there. And then we're going to tape that on. And can you see that is going to look like a cow? All right. Okay, so I'm just finishing up here. I just added the, the cow's udder here, and I did add the tail too. But now we are on to the mudding part. I mean, sorry, the paper mache part of the cow here. So the cow has his bony little bum here. So we can't, you know, cows do have their bony bums. So I am just gonna move this stuff off to the side here. Okay, we don't need that anymore. So I have my paper, my paper. I'll hand this to you, Bonnie, if you could. So that'd be fabulous, thank you. Now we're going to do some paper mache. Now this is actually the really messy part of everything. I have my glue right here. Now the glue is made out of one cup flour 
and two cups water. So one part flour and then two of the water. So I have that here. I'm just going to stir it up a little bit. And I do put salt in there. And people go, well, why do you put salt in your in there? The reason why you put salt in there, because when you let it dry sometimes, it doesn't get moldy, okay? I know when I first started doing this, I didn't put the, uh, the salt in there, and it did smell awful. Okay, so I've got my paper here. We are going to start on the bottom, and I am going to do the paper mache part here. So what we want to do is we want to make sure we take the paper, we dip it in, okay? So we're dipping that in like so, and take the excess glue off of it, okay? Because you're gonna end up with a big glue mess all over the place. So we're gonna start with the legs, and we're gonna work our way up and then down. So we're gonna kinda do a crisscross applesauce up and down. And so what we're gonna do is do the whole thing in the paper. And then afterwards, we are going to pad the bum and and I have um, shredded paper for that. So basically, we're gonna go all the way around and we are going to paper mache our whole little cow here. So we just wanna make sure that we get a lot of this and we wanna squeeze that down to make sure it's all on there, okay? So this is probably the longest, what takes the most time and is the most messiest is the paper mache. But that's what this show is about, is about making a paper flare with paper mache. So we'll do the other leg here. Okay. Get this all done. There we go. Get that all done in a round. And sometimes you get a lot of glue on your hands, so you can just Wipe the glue off on your hands. You know, it's nice and mucky. If you don't like getting your hands all mucky, you can wear gloves, okay? I started off wearing gloves, but I just tore them off because you know what? They just got in the way. So we'll do that. There we go. Get that all into place there. I can remember paper mache when I was in, I think it was grade two is when we did learn how to paper mache. And um, my sister-in-law, she actually showed me the piece that I had made and I gave to her and I couldn't remember anything about it, but she still had it. So that was kind of interesting. Thinking back, back in the day, I'm surprised I can even remember that far back. Okay, not saying that I'm really old or anything, but I am. All right, so let's get this all wrapped up here. The legs. All right, there we go. Isn't this fun? <laughs> there, all the way around. Okay, well, we got the legs done. Now we're gonna do the udder. We're gonna do the udder part of the cow. Ha, huh. yeah, a little bit of cow humor. Now, you know, the milk jug, and I just wanna kinda of talk about, kinda of thought about this, that we're kind of recycling the milk jug back into a cow. That's kind of ironic there. This milk jug's gonna turn back into the cow where the milk came from. There we go. So we just want to get this nice and in place here. Make sure that we get paper around. Now, these are called the teats of the cow. Usually cows have four teats. Sometimes they have five or six, but usually they have four. This one has four. There we go. Okay. So once we get this paper macheed, what's going to happen is we'll have to let it dry a little bit. There we go. All right, so now kids, I would suggest if uh, your parents are around that they help you with this 
because it can get a little messy sometimes. And if your parents see you doing this by yourself and you have glue all over the place, wow, they might get a little bit upset. There we go. We'll put this on this side over here. They see all that good glue on there, so I'll just rub this off on here. All right. So, that on there. We're going to kind of turn it over. Make sure all that paper mache is in the proper space. All right. Okay, now we're going to do the top part here. What I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to do the face because we're going to do the eye on the cow and everything too. So, I'm going to wrap its nose. So, get that all in there. There we go. So as you're doing this, you'll be seeing that how the nose forms, how you get the little nostrils in there, okay? And kind of push in the mouth part, like so, all right? So on this here, once we get this all done, we all can let this, uh, usually you let it dry for a bit of time, but because this is um, TV, we, we can make it magic and it will dry just like that. So um, we'll have it all ready to go in a flash. I'm gonna put that here and here, get the rest of the head done. Okay, so what we're gonna do to make the eyes is that we have to roll up the paper, like so, just in a ball, like so, like this, and we kind of stick it on there, okay? And let's we'll make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And then we do an eyelid on top of it. You just kind of roll it up like so, and then we put it over top, and that'll be the eyelid right over top of the, of the eye, okay? And then we can put the eyelash on top of that. So that's how you make the eye, and then afterwards we'll paste over top of that with the mud over top of that, okay? So we're going to do the other side of the eye. All right. And then we're going to paper mache the rest of the cow. And we're going to let it dry for a bit. And then when we come back, we'll talk about mudding the cow. Okay? So this is what we finished off with. This is what uh, the cow looks like when it's all done. So it's been paper mache So uh, what I did was basically the part now is going to be muddy. Okay, so we're going to mud it. Now, what I use to mud the body, and as I've already mudded it, is uh, most of it, is that I do my own little mixture. So you, what you do, you take paint, and then you want to take a, a cup of flour and a teaspoon and a third of salt, and mix it with, uh, with some mixers. And you wanna mix it so it's nice and smooth. Uh, then what we'll do is that we will take, I'm just gonna grab the proper paintbrush here. Uh, we're going to go in here and it's gonna be kind of like a pea soup, okay? Because that is uh, what goes all over the body just to smooth out the paper mache because paper mache is pretty rough. So we're gonna start on the bottom here and you just take it and you're just going to, you know, paint it on. And you can use your hands if you want to. Sometimes I get right into that and I 
I do that, okay? So once that's all done, and that dries, I do that all over the whole body. Then what I do is I take this dry dex, it's pink, it's spackle, dry wall mud, and I take this and I just smooth it over the eyes, and so just to make it smooth, and I can e actually even fill it out more with the eyes, and then afterwards I can sand it down and give it that nice smooth feel on that. And then also anywhere in here where I think I need to build up the muscles in that, I'll put it on there, and soon as it dries, uh, it's on, it goes on pink, Soon as it dries, I'll take a, a light sander and just sand it with a, sand, uh, a smooth sander and just sand it down so it's nice and smooth on there. So I've done all of that. So this is what it's turned out to be. So this is the cow all ready to get painted. So we are going to paint the cow now. I am going to get some black paint here. Now, all cows have dairy cows. We're going to do black and white. Now with the dairy cow, if it's already white, so we're going to just put the, I'm just gonna put this right here, the black paint on, and I'm going to add a little bit of water to this. Okay, all right. Just to actually, just to uh, thin it out a little bit and stir it all up, okay? And now I'm going to paint the cow. So basically, I'm going to just do all of this in black, okay? In here, and this is all gonna be black in here, and this will be black up back in here too. Okay, so I'm gonna paint that all black in here. That's gonna be all the black and underneath also. Okay, we'll get that done. This cow's gonna have eyelashes too. Cows have beautiful eyelashes. And that's gonna be all, and we'll probably wanna put a second coat of this on too. So on here, we're gonna have the cow being black right through here and right through this area in here. So we'll do that. I'm just gonna roughly put this on and there'll be the second coat of it. Okay. And the cow's gonna have black ears too. There we go. So the first coat's pretty rough. But like I said, once we get to finish this up and I'll do the second coat afterwards. Now the tongue's gonna be kind of a pinky color. The nose is gonna be a pinky color also. Okay, so we are going to put a spot on the tail here too, like so. And the hooves are gonna be black. Kind of give you a rough idea what the cow's going to look like. All right, so the next color we're going to go to is we're going to go to the pink. So a little bit of red, like that, a little bit of white. We're going to paint the tongue. Get those mixed together. Okay, so then we're gonna paint the tongue in here, okay? So nice pink tongue. And the nose is gonna be pink right through here. There we go. Turn it a little bit so I see. All right. 
Let that dry. And of course, the udder is going to be pink also. So we can turn this a little bit. And we are going to paint the udder pink also. And again, all of this is going to need a second coat. There we go. All right. And gradually you can see this cow coming, dairy cow coming alive. All right. There we go. I'll have to let that dry. All right, so I noticed I missed a black spot over here on the leg. That has to get black. Okay, get that in there nicely and around. Put a couple of little spots on the leg here that are black. To give him a little more character on that, a little dot there. So we're going to let this dry, and I'm going to do this final coat of this when this dries, and I'm going to get the eyelashes on. So don't go away, because we're going to have the finished product for you to take a look at, and it's absolutely fabulous. Thank you for watching, but stay tuned for the next episode where we're going to go way back in time where we're going to build a medieval castle. So from me to you, handmade with special care by Mutter Bear, until next time, have fun creating your very own paper flare. Take care.